Hey, it's great to see you. Are you thinking about tackling a long distance motorcycle trip? In this video, I will identify the top travel motorcycle mistakes that you should avoid for a smoother travel adventure. Let's ride. Before you hit the open road, watch this video to learn about the top mistakes that people make when they're planning a long distance motorcycle trip. From poor preparation to unrealistic expectations, find out what can go wrong, but most importantly, how to avoid making these mistakes yourself. The first mistake is not researching your route beforehand. It is important to have a good understanding of your route because doing so can help you avoid unexpected detours, construction, and other delays that can add significant time to your journey. Additionally, researching your route can help you plan for rest stops, gas fill-ups, and any necessary stops along the way. This can help you arrive at your destination more refreshed and less stressed. Finally, researching your route along the way can help you identify landmarks or points of interest that you may want to visit along the way, making your trip more enjoyable. Another mistake is neglecting to check your motorcycle before you take off. Before leaving on any motorcycle trip, it's essential to thoroughly inspect your motorcycle because it can lead to costly breakdowns and dangerous situations on the road. Failing to conduct basic maintenance tasks such as changing the oils, checking the tire pressure, or checking your brakes can lead to engine failure, flat tires, or reducing your ability to stop. Neglecting to bring minor spare parts or tools can also leave you stranded if your motorcycle experiences problems on the road. Furthermore, neglecting to inspect your lights, signals, and horn can be hazardous not only to you, but other motorists on the road. By taking the time to properly check your motorcycle before a long distance trip, you can ensure a safe and reliable journey. Another problem is not packing properly. It is important for you to pack correctly for a long distance motorcycle trip because you're going to be on the road for an extended period of time and you don't know what kind of weather or road conditions you may experience along the way. Packing the right clothing and protective gear can help you stay comfortable and safe while you're riding. This can include packing layers of clothing to adjust to changing temperatures, waterproof gear to protect against the rain, and protective gear such as helmet, gloves, and shoes to help minimize the risk of injury in case of an accident. In addition to packing the right clothing and gear, it is important to pack necessary tools or spray parts to help your motorcycle in case of emergencies on the road. The right way to pack is also very important. It's not only important that you bring the right clothing and equipment, but you also have to pack appropriately. If you overstuff your bags, you, it's gonna throw your motorcycle off balance. You need to pack the heaviest parts on the bottom of the bag, uh, the one closest to the motorcycle uh, first, and then put the lighter stuff at the top of the bag. That way you maintain your motorcycle's low center of gravity. Another trick that I learned while in the military, because we moved a lot, is to roll your clothing. Roll them tight, roll them small, and it'll pack a lot more clothing than if you were to layer them on top of each other. Another mistake is not wearing the proper protective gear. Wearing protective gear such as gloves, helmet, or armored jacket is crucial for motorcycle travel. These items can help protect you in the event of an accident or fall and can make a huge difference in the outcome of that incident. And we all know that not wearing protective gear can increase your risk of injury in an accident. Additionally, wearing protective gear can help keep you comfortable in a long distance ride by insulating you from the wind and the cold and protecting you from the sun and other elements. Overall, wearing the proper protective gear can keep you comfortable and safe on a long motorcycle trip. A big mistake I also see is not taking breaks. Unless you're doing an accredited long distance ride, then it's essential to take breaks. Riding a motorcycle can be both physically and mentally demanding, and it's important to take breaks to rest and recharge. Failing to take breaks can lead to fatigue and making wrong decisions because you're mentally tired, which can increase the risk of accidents or other problems on the road. Taking breaks also gives you the opportunity to stretch your legs, use the restroom, and walk around and relax, which can help you stay focused and alert while riding. In addition to the physical benefits of taking breaks, you can also explore, look around, learn new things, see new things, meet new people, and it will make a more enjoyable ride for you. One common mistake to avoid is not respecting the laws of the road. Most motorcycle laws across the US are similar. However, different states may have different laws. For instance, California allows lane splitting. Some states do not require you to use a motorcycle helmet. Every country has its own sets of laws and rules for motorcycle riding, and you should become familiar with them if you're riding in those countries. If traveling in a foreign country, become familiar with their traffic signs. A mistake that goes hand in hand with the previous one is not carrying the proper documentation. 
it is important for you to carry all necessary documents with you when traveling on a motorcycle, including your driver's license, insurance, and registration. Not having these documents with you can lead to delays and potentially legal issues if you're stopped by law enforcement. A huge mistake is not being prepared for the weather. It is important for you to be prepared for any weather you encounter in your motorcycle trip. The weather can be unpredictable, so it is important for you to be prepared so you can stay comfortable and safe during your motorcycle journey. Failing to pack appropriate clothing and gear can lead to discomfort and possible danger if you run into unexpected weather changes. That's why it's important for you to do your research on the weather forecast for the route that you're gonna be traveling. Sometimes if you see bad weather along your route, you can take another route to avoid hazardous weather conditions. And don't wait too long to put on your rain gear. If you see rain in the horizon, Put it on because you're going to be traveling in that direction anyway, unless you pull over and let the rain pass you by. But if you're going to continue, stop and put on your gear. It sucks putting on your rain gear in the rain. Trust me, I know. Another mistake is not having a backup plan. It's always a good idea to have a backup plan in case things don't go as expected on your motorcycle trip. This can include having a contingency route in case the road that you're in is not passable or if you show up at your hotel and they don't have your room and they're full and now you have to go stay somewhere else. Have a contingency plan. A backup plan can alleviate a lot of stress and ensure that your trip goes smoothly. Question of the day, what mistakes have you experienced on a long distance motorcycle trip and how did you fix the problem? Comment below and share with our community. A mistake that I have seen is not carrying enough fuel. It's essential to plan your fuel stops on your motorcycle journey. This becomes even more important when you're riding out in remote areas where gas stations are further and further apart. When fully packed, you must know your motorcycle's uh, fuel range. How long can your motorcycle go before it needs to be refueled? I always make it a point to take a break every hour on the hour, and if I can, I usually fill up at that time. It's also a good idea to carry a small fuel bottle in case of emergencies. Remember, if you're riding in a group, other bikes may have smaller tanks and will have to refuel more often. A painful mistake is not carrying a first aid kit. Accidents or emergencies can happen at any time and it's important to be prepared. A first aid kit can help you deal with injuries or minor ailments that happen on the road, such as cuts, abrasions, and blisters. By carrying a first aid kit, it allows you to deal with any emergencies that may come up and you can receive medical attention immediately. Additionally, having a first aid kit can give you peace of mind on your ride, knowing that you can deal with any unforeseen situations where you can take care of any minor injuries or ailments. A dangerous mistake is not being familiar with your motorcycle on a long motorcycle journey. It is important for you to be completely familiar with how your motorcycle works, how it operates, and how to perform minor maintenance tasks before setting out on a long trip. This can help you identify and fix any issues that may come up on your road trip. Familiarizing yourself with your motorcycle's controls, features, and owner's manual can save you a lot of headaches down the road and can help you get the most out of your motorcycle and enjoy your trip to the fullest. If you recently bought your motorcycle and are heading out soon, I suggest that you go out and familiarize yourself with that motorcycle. Take it out on the road, take it out on rides as much as possible before your trip comes up. Familiarize yourself with the braking, the clutch, all the controls so that way you're not looking down and trying to uh, switch left turn, right turn, or what have you. By taking your new motorcycle out and riding around, you become familiar with the way it operates, the way it sounds, and that way you get to see the difference when you're out on the ride and something comes up and you're like, that does not sound right, you can pull over and deal with that situation. Another dangerous mistake on a long motorcycle trip is not paying attention to your surroundings. Motorcycling requires your full attention at all times while you're riding. Not being aware of what's happening around you, in your mirrors, behind you, can increase your risk of an accident and other problems. It is important to continuously scan your environment and be prepared to deal with any unexpected hazards or change in road conditions. Paying attention to your surroundings can also help you avoid uh, problems as they come up, any potholes, debris, or obstacles that come up unexpectedly. A mistake that can occur on a long motorcycle trip could be not securing your belongings. It is important to properly secure your belongings on a long motorcycle trip because if they come off, it can lead to serious consequences, not only for you, but to other uh, motorists on the road. In addition, if your belongings are not properly secured, they can be stolen while you're taking a break or away from your motorcycle. Properly securing your belongings can prolong 
uh, thieves attempt to take your belongings and possibly discourage them from taking your stuff. Ensuring that your belongings are properly secured not only keeps you safe, but also makes your ride more enjoyable because there's one less thing you have to worry about. One of the other mistakes can be not adapting to changing road conditions. Road conditions can change very quickly and you must be prepared for these changes. This includes slippery and uneven surfaces and changing your speed and riding style accordingly. Grass clippings, loose gravel, graded bridges, and grooved roadways are just a few examples of hazards that can come up quickly. It's also important to adjust your riding style depending on the weather and visibility. A mistake is also not using the proper motorcycle position on the road. Proper motorcycle position on the road is crucial to your safety. This includes maintaining proper distance from vehicles to your front and sides. Keep your motorcycle in a position on the roadway where it can be visible. If you follow too close to very large vehicles, you are invisible to oncoming traffic that may be turning left right after the vehicle passes the intersection. Large vehicles to your front will also limit your visibility. You cannot see as far forward of that vehicle that's in front of you. Proper motorcycle positioning is also crucial in tight turns and twisties. So you can see as far as possible around that curve for any obstacles or oncoming traffic. An annoying mistake can be not communicating with other riders in your group. If you're riding with a group of riders, it's very important that you establish clear communications before you take off on that road. Everyone must know the hand and arm signals for whatever event that you want to create. And this also ensures that everyone stays safe on the road. This can include using hand signals or communication devices to alert other riders of any hazards or changing plans. It's also a good idea to establish a system that is known to everyone on checking on each other. So that way we make sure that everybody's riding safe and everyone is accounted for. If you got value from this video, comment down below and let me know. Also, watch this next video and I'll see you there.